Hello! Today we're here to give you a guided tour of Google Sheets, Google's spreadsheet program. We're going to touch on a lot of the features of Google Sheets one by one, but because the scope of the program is so broad, there will certainly be some additional features that you need to explore on your own. So in this version of Google's spreadsheet software, you can create and edit spreadsheets offline. This was something that Google made available in Docs and Slides long before they brought it to Sheets. But as long as you have offline access enabled and are working within the Chrome browser, you can now also create and edit your spreadsheets while offline. Next, Google has made some huge speed improvements in their spreadsheet software, allowing them to load and scroll much faster. They've done this partially by removing limits for formula complexity and spreadsheet size. There is no longer any limit to cells or formulas, but it is important to note that as you expand your sheet with more cells and formulas and data, you may see your sheets start to slow down. When Google first launched this software, you had to opt in to using the new version of Sheets, but now this is the default software that all users have access to. So here I've got a new sheet open, and the first thing I want to touch on is the improvements Google has made to formula editing. There are some great new function editing tools to help you build out some complex functions. So if I go ahead and start typing out a formula now, you get a nice little description of some of these different formulas. For instance, with SUM, I get all the information that I need to make changes to my formula, while also being aware of the context. So I can just select the data here, and close out my formula. Google has also included functions such as sum ifs and count ifs and average ifs. These are formulas that depend on multiple criteria. I know that these are very useful for a lot of spreadsheet users, so the inclusion of them in Google Sheets should be huge for a lot of people. Next, I want to show you filter views. So one issue that people used to run into with older versions of Google Sheets when filtering data was that if you were viewing the Sheets at the same time as a collaborator, it could affect the experience for everyone if you started filtering data. Filter Views makes it easy to set up a number of predefined filter settings that you can then switch back and forth between. So if I select the data here, and then go up to the Data tab and select Filter Views, I can create a brand new filter view. This opens up a new tool in Google Sheets, which allows me to filter my data and quickly revisit it if I need to. For instance, for this one, I'm just going to filter the section by only berries. I'm going to select blueberries and raspberries, and I'm going to name the filter berries. After I close this down, it will return to the normal view. But later, if I go to data and return to filter view, you'll see berries. So with one click, I can return to the filter I just set up. Like I said, this makes it really easy for collaborators to quickly revisit different filters without changing the experience for other people. You can also change the color of your tabs in Google Sheets. Click here, and then you can change the color to something that makes each tab easier to recognize. The ability to quickly paste data in a transposed format is also really helpful. So, for example, if I copy this data here, and then open up a new tab, I'm going to right click and then go to Paste Special. You can see this option here for Paste Transpose. This takes my previous column of data and turns it into a row here instead. The Find and Replace tool is quite refined in Google Sheets and a useful tool as a result. You can find and replace based on all sheets, just this sheet, or a specific range of cells. So you can specify your range of cells there, or you can even search within formulas, which is really cool if you're looking for something very specific. That's our introduction to Google Sheets. There's a couple of tools I wasn't able to go over, including the number formatting options and advanced conditional formatting improvements, which I don't think will apply to everyone, but if you're interested, these are features well worth checking out. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments under the video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day!